Warning, this game is rated M for Mature, thanks to the fact that it has some pretty gruesome stuff in it. As such, I will not be showing the most gruesome parts, partly because I'm sure some people may not want to see those, that sort of thing, and also because YouTube's rules prohibit it. However, if you'd like to see everything yourself by playing the game on your own, viewer discretion is advised. That being said, I will be describing the parts that um, cannot be shown. You'll just see a black screen with me describing it. That being said, viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, welcome back to some more LNOR. Last time we started everything off, and this time, we're going to begin our first case of the, um, what was it, the traffic desk. Our first promotion, and yes, we're going to get more. But let's stick to what we know for now. The driver's seat. Our first real case. I'm also sorry about the echo last time. Uh, seems the microphone picked up the audio from my headphones as well. I'll check if there's, um, echo on this. If not, great. If so, sorry. Might just be a recurring thing we'll have to get used to. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's big. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along with I'm here to learn, Detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory, make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that? Roy Earl, chief detective and advisor. They all dressed like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of LA is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. All right, great starts. Now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, sir. Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell does it, but that's why we have partners, right? Okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm gonna start you out with one case. You okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda, Patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. Alright, let's do this. First off, though, before anything, I do want to mention some new things that have come up. Outfits. You see... When you complete different... I guess... Um, different cases, get promotions and whatnot, you'll get some of these um, outfits along the way, each of which has a lot of effects. I'll be wearing a different outfit for every video, I guess. I'll try. In any event, though, uh, we'll be wearing Golden Boy here. It has no effect, so, yeah. Let's head over to the PE Freight Depot. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Seems like a DC six guy. years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. Let's 
go down and out of here. Where's the car? There's the car, okay. Now, the next thing I do want to mention, as it says up in the upper left. Sorry, I'm not looking at the game right now. I was looking at my timer. Um, yeah, there are such things cause uh, street crimes. Can I see this around here? No, whatever. Anyways, on the map, there's police station symbols, landmark symbols, um, here it is, different cars you can get, question marks are usually cars, and the actual thing, now I don't feel like driving this far, so, as the you game would place? tell you, sure. Near the old gas works and signal in the warehouse. We can just hold triangle and have him take us there. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Bukowski? We have to work together, don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded, shipped back home. Did a year on the beat. Now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No. You were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. Finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Now fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riot. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. Ha. <laughs> yes, we will be doing the side quests, I guess, in a stream whenever this comes out. Chances are I may have finished this game already, but um, by the time I upload this on YouTube, but in case I have it, oh well. Is that you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. Alright, let's head on through to the crime scene, which... I need to get back to work, happily all enough, I don't, I don't, I don't are remember here now. the body. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working skit. Just give me your story and you'll be alright. Ah, yes. Racism at its finest. Somehow. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and... We'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. Yeah. So we can just click the square button to talk to our partner, see if there's anything, if we feel we're missing something, or... I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped a full Broderick, but no stiffness yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. All right, and of course we can use intuition search for clues. However, I'm not gonna do that. Intuition's better spent um, during the questionings. Doc? Detective. Let's talk to the no. doctor. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blood force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Good God, this thing is like this thing is like covered in blood paint. Looks to have lost a lot of blood. Oh really? I didn't know. Oh, whatever. Let's check the trunk. No stiff, but a pipe and a paper. Optimistic, Cole. That doesn't mean anything. 
What are you? Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? That must be where the blood came from. But no, why, why would you kill a pig in your car? That does not make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, it's over everything. The stereo. Hmm. Ah, marker A. Uh, someone lost the glaces. Ooh, something on them. What does that say? Stenzel. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Hmm. Yeah. Whatever. What is this? Oh, it's a wallet. Adrian Black. Here's what they were talking about. 32 years old. Married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Hmm. Seems this is a guy with glasses. And he has a wife, too. Happier times, I guess. Hmm. Maybe we can ask her what's been going on. That being said, why is Black's stuff here? And, um, Morgan's, Frank Morgan's receipt in the thing, did, did, did they, what, did they go together to purchase a live hog? Oh, well, what'd be this? Bloody, oh, Insta-Heat. Brand name might give us something to go on. Hmm. Oh, we found everything. Alright. All right, let's talk to our witness, Knight Wilkie. Uh, that being said, I think Morgan and Black went together to buy a live hog, took the pipe, and killed it in the car? Or maybe killed it outside the car, and then when he put in the car here, the car crashed into something. Whatever. That's the working theory. Let's see what we got here. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parked in your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Uh, why were you here in the first place? Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Hmm. Well, we have nothing to doubt him for. Plus, he's staring at us. He's not looking away from us, so... Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen the soul all day till you boys turned up. Hmm. So no one was here, meaning this must have happened a long, long time before it was discovered. Uh, do you know do who you Agent know Black Adrian is? Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Um... Well, I mean, the wallet is out, but just because you find a wallet doesn't mean you don't know who that person is. You know who that person is, so... Yeah, benefit for the doubt. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars are parked here regular, so it kind of stood out. Alright, did you look inside the wallet? You probably wallet did, because most car. people would. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Oops, see, here's how you're looking around. Hmm, 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 no. We can't exactly accuse him, because we don't really have anything to go for. But, we can doubt him. 
Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Rookie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was gonna steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. I think that makes sense. I mean, most people would look inside a wallet, a wallet inside a crash car just to return it to the owner, so... Yeah. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Good man. Huh? He doesn't look as though he's lying, so... Yeah. When you saw the blood, was it wet? Bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Look dry already. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. All right, may as well do that then. Tell her husband disappeared in this car full of blood, yes. Please do that. <laughs> and here's when the game tells you, hey, you can You're make your partner drive to places. All right. Where to? I wonder if there's any street crime being done. No, there are no street crimes. Yeah, look at this. I'm driving from here. Oh, there's a street crime you can do. Yeah, the street crimes are all just, uh, they're all the same, to be honest. They're just, you know, do this, do that. You know, this person do a, well we'll do them all another time and okay we won't do them all we'll do some of them because they're all mostly the same but look at this look how long of a drive this would be if I don't if I didn't use the partner thing can you drive to this one all right so the working theory is that Adrian Black and F. Morgan um, have what? Yeah, they went to go buy a pig, bludgeoned it, which I don't know why you would do that, <laughs> and that's where all the blood came from. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm not good at this shoulder crying on stuff. Uh, just a minute. Wait, can we just see inside our house like this? Wow. You think they get like tinted windows or something? LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Margaret Black, okay. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Insta-Heat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window. At the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. All right. Let's check the place out. Come on. Have There's a good look around. Music. There's got to be something in here to go on. Oh, oh I'm, I'm, um, the newspaper, huh? Here's another one. Two out of thirteen. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So, you're a friend of Courtney's? Yes, Doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. Ah, uh, yes. Heroin, probably. I want to take you 
I can have the sedative, so. I want me to remember the good things about the past. Occasions that made you laugh. Time that made you smile. Okay, that wasn't suspicious. <laughs> that wasn't suspicious at all. What is this? Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh. So who brought this home? Kavanaugh. Maybe Adrian was a patron. Aren't I should have an address? Oh, maybe that act where he might have seen Morgan. Ah, yes. Um, the game well. We can do that later when we're looking to go somewhere. For now, let's investigate the rooms. That's odd. Do these guys have children? I mean, why are there two bedrooms? Hmm. This is an odd picture to have. This is remarkably clean. What is in here? Oh wow. This place is actually a mess. A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. So it's possible Adrian's up in Seattle. Oh no, he's had a used ticket. Does that mean he went and forgot his ticket? Whatever. And even here's a glasses case. Stenzel, yep. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. <sighs> oh. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? Yeah, for a married couple, you'd think they'd have at least one or two pictures together. Nick, oh. To my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. That must be why he wanted to go to the other place. That must be why he's going to the other place. Huh. I see nothing else in here. That's of use. Ooh, what's this? Ah, this insta-heat stuff, so the, well, the pipe thing must have come from here. Now. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. So this is on. This is somewhere in January. This game takes place, right? Hmm. Ah, well, he's right. Perhaps we should take a look outside. What's here? What? What's the point of these? Hmm. I don't think this is any use to us. Yeah, now that these are actually useful. Looks look outside. What is this? Oh, they're just flowers. Is there anything on the edge here? Oh, yep. And it's disassembled, so he most likely got the thing from here. Are you just leaving the thing half finished? Let's put this back then. This looks like it goes up here. This, the way it's shaped, 
probably goes here because it's yeah, bendy. This is an L shape. It goes right over here. And last piece, a straight away. So it's supposed to be a big L bend. Just so like the, the piece we got, yeah. The black here is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Is it though? I mean, we found another pipe. That's all the clues, okay. I mean... Where was it? We found another pipe in the... In the crime scene, so it's not like... You know, it's not like... It couldn't have been that one. Oh. And then even though, here's one, here's your number one tip in L.A. Noir. Whenever you see a phone icon, or that like house with a C icon, walk up to it, and press X. We'll call R&I, get a location. Putting you through now. Please stand by for emergency service. Please stand by for I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks, ma'am. Right, we're going to investigate that later. However, before we interview her, I do want to mention that I believe in like the tips in this game I studied upon. It said that the interviews in this game are very dependent on the situation. So, because Margaret has just found out about her, what happened, what may have happened to her husband, she might not lie as much. I'm all right now, detectives. Okay. I guess first question is, where were you in the night of the murder? I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? What an awful thing to say! I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Mm-hmm. Well, she's not looking anywhere else. Oh, she is, but... <sighs> is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I... I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited. But he never came home. Alright, you know anything about a slaughterhouse receipt? We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. Frank Morgan. Mostly one of his employees, then. Well, she isn't looking away. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. Very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Hmm, I see. You frequent, do you frequent Kavanaugh's bar? Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. How did you know that? It's because in like more than, more than one place is a, um, a matchbook. Well, not a full matchbook, but yeah. <sighs> Making the same face, so she's not lying. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Okay. I guess what we should we act? Well, we can act by each of these. Do you have an idea of where he may Did be? Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Yeah, and then he went to buy the live hog and everything. He's not looking away. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He 
never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Hmm. What, why, well, why would the glasses case be important? Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. But if he bought a new pair, why would it be broken? Then again, there is a glasses case in the thing, so that kind of um, puts it up. I mean, I could have broke during the whole thing, so I'll give you that. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. It looked terrible. So why was he wearing an old one then? However, you know anything about this photograph that's signed Nicole tell on it? Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. No, she's looking away. Knows more than she lets on. Oh no, she isn't actually. More importantly though... What is there to tell? She's in... She, they live in different rooms. He frequents a bar. I mean... That's just a lie. You know why. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. I guess you know that. I told you what I know about the picture. No, you haven't. You most likely, she most likely knew that she, um, it was a concealed message in there. Otherwise, she wouldn't be sleeping in a different room than him. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a play. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Ooh, all correct. Please do, Detective. All right, I guess our next stop would be Kavanaugh's. Maybe we'll find Adrian there or someone who might know him. You know the way, you can drive. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? That being said, why did he order a live hog? What would that accomplish? Jesus, I'm glad to get out of there. Was it to fake his death? don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem to type. But stranger things have happened. Yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, he has a train ticket to Seattle. So what if he ordered the hog to fake his death, use Frank Morton as a witness, and then... You know, his death was faked. He's now, he's actually alive up in Seattle. Ow. Oh, well. Hey, I know you. No, you, you don't. don't. <laughs> I love these ways for someone. Everyone's a dog. You know, you know Frank, Frank Morgan? Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Oh. That cherry pie was delicious. Oh. Okay. Loner in the back. Frank Morgan? Who's asking? <sighs> LAPD. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Mm-hmm. We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk off, Phelps. No, oh, don't blow believe me. I don't. Why? Because we found your receipt at the crime scene. You're, You're lying, obviously Morgan. there. You were there. 
And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Okay, how about the fact that, oh, I don't know, we found your receipt with your name on it. You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right already. That fool Adrian's falling for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like you've been attacked. I knew it. Okay. I'll ask you straight, Frank. Yeah, I'm gonna be Frank, Frank. <laughs> Where is Adrian Black? Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. Yeah, that, that's sarcasm. Come on. Come on, that, 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 that's sarcasm. We know that. We can already see. No, no idea. Secondly, though, he has a train ticket with a receipt. However, it was used already. We already knew it was used. So I think that was supposed to link to the concealed message. He obviously knows, but we don't have any evidence to prove it, because the only evidence we do have links to something else. So... Eh, the bad cop. I'm tired of your stick, Morgan. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you! Hold up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows it down. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. Good on you, mate. all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. No way I'm writing this idiot up. Arrest him or let him go. <sighs> what a moral decision. Should we arrest him or should we let him go? Uh, hmm. Well, I mean, what did he do wrong? Did he do anything wrong? Yeah, why not? Tampering with evidence and everything. I mean, when you think about it, sure he didn't kill him, but he did kind of mess up the crime scene Morgan's and make address? it look like everything was Let's bad. Get over to his apartment. Okay. That being said, let's actually go over to where was it? Here it is, not too far from Black, so I guess we can drive there. Uh, that being said, had you gotten, um, I know it's for a fact because this happened to me the first time. I remember now. Um, had you gotten? Um, the location question wrong, you would have to tail Adrian Black, not Adrian Black, tail Frank Morgan, which is basically you, um, I think was you following behind his car, like not too slow, but not, not too far, but not too close, you know, kind of like in GTA, which is boring, to be honest, but yeah, we don't have to do that now. Uh, I suppose we can drive there. I mean, this video is like 33 minutes or so. You can drive. Nah. Eleven K, go ahead. Yep, knew it. Yep. Roger, KGPL. Blood is poor kind. So he really did try to fake his death. Hmm. <laughs> what, are we gonna call him the poor kind prince? No? No one gets that Nino Cooney joke? Okay. That being said, we know where he is. Up in apartment two. Let's check the place out. Come on. Make sure he isn't lying to us. Oh, it's like right out in the open too. Two. Seriously, everyone else got like papyrus handwriting. He has the Comic Sans. Oh, the references. 
uh, 1d4 is over here. What is this? Is this utility? Oh, 1. 2, here it is. Knock, knock, knock. Open the door, good sir. Help you, gentlemen? LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from LA. Then get away. Just let me get my things. Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Out the window. There's no point running, Adrian. Um. Ah, there he is. Mr. Black, get back here right now. It's over, Adrian. Stop right there, Adrian. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. Yeah, truth be told, you could have just divorced her, got still had kept half your stuff and more if you. That turned out to be mind. quite some case, but, huh? Yeah. Adrian, what, been what an idiot! You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, you can go a long way in this department. And that, folks, was case two. Well, case two, because uh, I, I guess we can count this as case one. <sighs> Adrian Black can look forward to his day in court and a beating from the LA press. That being said, the next case is actually a DLC case. Ooh, that's nice. Is there a flashback? Probably not, because this has to be a DLC. This, yeah, this next one's a DLC case, so it wasn't in the original game. So there most likely is not a flashback. After this. But I could be wrong. Yeah, I knew it, okay. So, folks, we will do the console's car next time. The first of the DLC cases. Yes, amazing. Uh, yeah, I guess with that being said, we'll end this video off here. A bit short for my liking, but I guess that's kind of how all these cases are going to go. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time.